Hey John, so this is the question that you're asking about. It says find the standard deviation of this probability distribution. Give your answer to at least two decimal places. Um, unless you're given the specific distribution, like if I said this was binomial or if this was normal or something, then you really can't do anything besides either use the formula or the calculator. The formula is really, really cumbersome, and the calculator will just do everything for you. So I think you should just stick with the calculator. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to input my x values and my probabilities into the stat menu. So I'm going to hit stat, enter, go to this first screen. If I have stuff there, I'm going to clear it out. We'll have to L2, hit clear, enter. I'll have to L1, hit clear, enter. So I have everything cleared out. I'm going to put my x values in L1. So I have 0, 1, 2, and 3. And the respective probabilities in L2. So I'm going to go after that's all in there, I'm going to go back to the stat menu and I'm going to calculate something. So I'm going to calculate, I'm going to calculate statistics on one variable. So I'm going to hit enter on one. Now just make sure that the list says L1, that's where our values are coming from. And the frequencies where the probabilities is going to be L2. So if that's blank, you've got to add an L2 there. So I'm going to hit second and the number two, see the blue L2 above that, put L2 in that list and then just hit calculate. And then you'll see you have a bunch of stuff printed out, like the mean, the sum of all the x's. The thing we're looking for is this sigma x. So our answer is going to be not 1.41, but 1.26. I think you should just use that method anytime you're looking for a standard deviation.